Nay, and as you at home can imagine, getting all three buildings secure certainly made for a hectic morning for law enforcement. It certainly did. In fact, News 10's Rodrika Taylor was able to actually get reaction from some of the folks evacuated. She continues our team coverage. Rodrika. For some people, hearing about a bomb threat at all the three courthouses can be a scary situation, but with the help of law enforcement, safety remains their top priority. It's scarcer, man. I mean, I, it's people be fearing for their life, you know, out here, you know, and uh, I just be, you know, just we just have to stay in prayer, you know, keep God, you know, first. Gerald Broussard says he was by the library when someone informed him about the bomb threat. Just be careful, you know, around here because uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of activity going on out here. Over by the 15th Judicial District Courthouse, News 10 spoke with Judge Valerie Garrett. She explains what she was doing when the news of the threat spread over the courthouse. We were handling revocations in the courthouse and then we were notified by the bailiffs to evacuate the courthouse because there was a bomb threat. And so everybody was evacuated from the courthouse for safety precautions and our bailiffs took care of everything. The sheriff's deputy came in and they called the bomb squads. Judge Garrett says this is not the first time she's experienced a bomb threat at the courthouse. I've had a bomb threat at the courthouse before, but I was a defense attorney at the time. Now I'm a judicial officer, so it was a little different because you have to follow certain protocols. But the most important thing for us all was to get the public out. She credits law enforcement for their efforts to ensure everyone's safety. Our law enforcement responds very quickly to those types of things and, their, uh, and the safety precautions that they put in place are very good. So hats off to them. They did an excellent job in securing everybody.